Hey everyone, Todd from Sideshow Effects here again, and today I'm going to talk about installation and customization of the DaVinci Pro profiles uh, for the Stream Deck device. So when you download the package, you unzip it, this is what you're going to see. The first thing we need to do is there are keyboard shortcuts that you need to uh, install in, into, into DaVinci, and it makes it very, very simple. So we go into DaVinci itself, go to Keyboard Customization, and on the top right here, you'll see the drop-down menu. Beside that is a, uh, is a menu bar, and we're going to import the preset, and we're gonna to navigate towards our Pro Profiles download into the Keyboard Shortcuts folder, and of course, we're on a Mac right now, so we're going to import the keyboard shortcut file that's in that in this folder, and this is this is the exact same thing on the Windows um, machine. Uh, everything I show you here is done the exact same way in Windows. So we would double uh, double click that to to load it. I already have it loaded, so uh, you would see it show up in your drop down menu right next to it. And we're going to be working with DaVinci Resolve Sideshow Effects Pro keyboard layout. Save that close and now all the keyboard shortcuts are mapped into this application for the Stream Deck profiles that are included in this download to work properly. So now in our Stream Deck folder we've got for the Mac and Windows we're on uh, only on uh, the XL device for this DaVinci Pro pack because there are just too many keys there's 1200 over 1200 keys that are mapped and it would just it's just too many for the 15 key device uh, to hold you'd be cycling through different pages all the time to get anywhere which is not very efficient so we're only built for the XL on this version so we're going to bring stream deck forward move this over to the side and we're going to click on the preferences icon here and we're going to click the flyout menu here and click import and we're in, going to import in our downloaded folder under stream deck XL and we're on a Mac right now and we're going to import the both of these profiles one is labeled and one is unlabeled and you don't have to uh, import both, but I'll show you why you would import both in a second. So I'll start with the label, just double click that and it will load it in. And you'll see that it loaded at the bottom here and it uh, added the name copy to the end of it because I already have it loaded into my system already. But it just renames it with a copy here. So one of the things you'll notice here is that there's no application associated with this. That's because uh, this profile here is using the DaVinci Resolve application uh, to launch this profile when Resolve is either brought forward or is opened. Let's just take it off this one for now. And I'm gonna go back to the one we just imported and I'm going to select the DaVinci Resolve application so that when we switch to it, this profile will appear on our Stream Deck device. Let's also import the unlabeled version and there we are there. We now have the unlabeled version with the coffee extension on the end of it here. We're going to leave the application launcher alone on this one because we want our label coffee to be the one that brought forward every time DaVinci Resolve starts. So now that we have those loaded into our preferences, we're going to pull down to launch that profile. So now we have the labeled profile of DaVinci Resolve Pro loaded into our Stream Deck device. Now the one thing we're going to want to do is you can see there's a go to unlabeled button here. What this is going to direct us to do is when this gets pressed on our device, it's going to swing us over to the unlabeled profile that we just imported. So we click on this button and we're going to tell it to switch the profile when that gets selected to the DaVinci Pro unlabeled. Let's go to the unlabeled profile here. And on the go to labeled, we are going to select the labeled profile that we just loaded in. So now on the Stream Deck device, when I click on go to labeled, it will switch to that labeled profile of DaVinci Pro. Same thing with the go to unlabeled. So now we're just going to go back and forth between the two. Very simple. So we're going to work on the labeled right now. So now all these keys are live and are able for us to be used as keyboard shortcuts in the application. 
Now, this is a pretty extensive uh, uh, profile. That, as I said, it's got like 1,200 uh, different key commands that are all uh, pre-programmed for you, but there may be one or two that haven't been uh, brought in yet, and you may want to include those. So let's just show an example of how you can modify it yourself. So let's say that in the playback menu here, uh, we want to include uh, the menu function play to in is not mapped here. You can see we go to uh, play around to and go to the play to in. It has no shortcut function assigned to it. So let's uh, say we want to include that. And so we go to the keyboard shortcuts and we'll select all commands here. We'll search for play just to filter our search here. Play around two, and we're going to see play to in. So if we select this empty box here, and we're going to assign a new shortcut to it. So it has to, of course, be a shortcut that has, isn't already assigned. So if we do option command close bracket, that one's already assigned. So we actually have to find a shortcut that hasn't been used yet. So let's cancel out of that so we don't overwrite the one that already exists. Uh, the keyboard layout up here is a handy guide to show you what has been taken and what hasn't. So if I press on Option Command, we can see that Option Command close bracket is already in use. But we could do Option Command P, for example, since it is available. So if we then select this, Option Command P on the keyboard, now it's selected. We save that into our profile, close it out. We can see from our playback menu, Play around two. Now play to in has the option command P shortcut applied to it. If I press option command P, it will play to the in point. But we want to map that to the key on our Stream Deck device. Back to Stream Deck. We have no keys available here. They're all taken up. But let's just say that we never use this step one frame forward key. We can just delete that and we're going to create a new hotkey action drag hotkey onto this button. We are going to assign it with that shortcut assignment, Option Command P. And as you can see, it automatically labels it into the title and puts it over top of our, our icon here. Oh, we don't want that. So let's uh, deselect Show Title. And we're, we will label this as Play to In. And we can also bring in our custom icon here. Since the icons have been made for every single function within the application, we can go to the icons folder in our download. And since we're working on a labeled profile, we'll go to the labeled folder and go to playback and go down to play around to in. And we drag that one onto our button. And there it is for us. Now when we go over to DaVinci and we hit the key on our Stream Deck device, Play to In works for us. So let's go back to the main menu and there's a couple of extra empty keys here. Let's say we want to create our own page made up of a lot of the keys from all these different pages. So select an empty key here and we're going to go up and do Create Folder drop it on, and this creates a folder of another 32 blank keys for us to start building on. Sending us back, brings us back to this page. So let's say that we want to include that key we just made. So we can select it and do Command C Copy, or you can do right click Copy here. Go to our newly created page, select an empty key, and paste it in. And you can do that for any keys that you want to move over. Let's say we want to add a serial node there. And we want to do an apply grade, etc. You can see how quickly you can build your own page to your own workflow. Unfortunately, Stream Deck does not allow you to do multiple copy and paste at once. We do have to do them one at a time. But even with that, you can see how quickly you can build your own page and customize it to your own workflow. All these keys, like I said, are 1,200 of them, are all mapped and ready for you to go. You don't have to program anything. Just copy and paste to build the profile the way you like. Anyway, hope you found that useful. Once again, thanks very much for downloading the package. Really appreciate the support. 
And as always, please do follow us on Twitter or follow us on, on Facebook. Join the email list. These are the only ways that you're going to know that we uh, have issued uh, new updates to our packs. All of the updates are always free, and you want to make sure you can take advantage of that. Till next time, thanks very much. We'll talk to you.